Hey, uh, you uh, got a minute? Yeah, I got more than that. Got as much time as you want. I'm just uh, packing up Siobhan's stuff. So. Uh, Lulu would probably do that stuff for you. Yeah, I know, but I have to face it sooner or later. But not in the next ten minutes. What's up? Uh, nothing. I'm just trying to tie up the uh, bakery case. The coroner confirms the last two bodies that come in were Rudy Trujillo and a uh, low-level dealer the name of John Thomas Dykstra. Yeah, 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 JT. He's the, the dealer I was meeting with. He got me shot up. Oh. Well, anyway, three of these bodies, JT, Joey Brizetta, and the guy who was working at the, at the hospital as a janitor, Daryl Hayes, yeah. they all did time together in Penville. Let me guess, their sentences overlap with Anthony's car. Yeah, so do thousands. So there's no way of tying this back to Anthony's car, and, and we don't know how much of this stuff is out on the streets anyway. So we're at a dead end. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> speaking of dead ends, I uh, asked your sister to marry me tonight. What? Yeah. You proposed to Lulu? Yeah, yeah, tonight. And? Uh, she said she would think about it. Oh. What? What's that? I, I didn't say anything. I mean, I... Well, no, no, no. She said you have this way of knowing what she's thinking, some Spencer code or something like that, so... I don't know. How, how do I convince her to marry me? Are you sure you uh, want to be a part of this family? 